Hello everybody and welcome back to Dragon Age the Veil Guard, which is still for some reason hard to say. Hopefully it'll just start rolling off the tongue soon. Um, I got a little distracted waiting for videos to, uh, like I had to transfer them over to the external hard drive. And I was looking at the glossary and it turned out the Antam are former Canari soldiers who rejected the Qum in favor of conquest. That is not what they were called before. They were called Talvashoth. Antam was like a, a, a like a a unit or like a type of soldier within the actual Canari army. I swear. Yeah, their splintered groups are led by warlords and demagogues. Which are big, big liars, essentially. Charismatic liars. Um, nah. Girl, let me actually look at the actual definition because I just realized that it could potentially um, describe Solas, sort of. A charismatic liar is a political leader who seeks support by appealing to the desires and prejudices of ordinary people rather than by using rational argument. Okay, it's a little different. It's a rhetorically explicit issue for political purposes in a way calculated to appeal to the desires and prejudices of ordinary people. Mm, yes, I see why. I knew that word was seeing a lot of usage in 2016, and it makes sense. Um, but yeah, I so they decided to change, I guess, some of the terms. Everything else seemed pretty, you know, standard. The Titans are mentioned, which is good, um, because hopefully they'll be involved in some way in this. Oh, and the creature enhancements was pretty useful. Help me see, you know, what about electric imbued, you know, their, sh their hit supply shocked or whatever, you know. There's a lot of them, and I'm hoping I just kind of figure them out as I go, because there is no way I'm going to remember from just reading it, you know. I mean, Sundered and stuff is, like, pretty standard. There's some pretty standard terms, but, you know. All right. Gather the team, like, hey. So, oh. we stopped the Cute. ritual. And Varric paid the price. Hey. Varric made his choice to go talk with Solas. He knew the risks we all did. And now Solas is gone. And we're here. Wherever here is. Besides in the Fade. Solas called it the Lighthouse. He did? When? <laughs> She's like, um, excuse me. Um. Like, I don't know. I, I like being sassy, but. Like, this feels like something where it's like, okay, let's just be straight talking, you know? Um, but them sitting together on the couch is really cute. We're probably going to get more seats around for everyone. And I like that this, again, this feels more intimate. Not like all standing around the war table, you know, like contemplating, you know, big world changing things. It's like, yo, we just sit around this little table. How's it going, you know? Sorry, uh, it was while I was unconscious, Solus appeared in my dream. Really? I'm glad I mean, you're all right. From what yeah. I saw, he's trapped in the Fade now. Not here, but some kind of prison. You're sure that wasn't just a dream? It's a reasonable reaction. Solus can speak with people in their dreams. Even kill Through them. Through their dreams? He said our connection wasn't strong enough for him to do that. He could only reach me because I bled at the ritual site when I got banged up. So Solus is using blood magic? Like any normal mage would to play with your mind? But he's not a normal mage, like I told you. He's an elven god. Putting together a nice ritual doesn't make him a god. Putting together a nice ritual doesn't make... I guess, okay, she hasn't... I'm like, I'm like, excuse me, but she hasn't been... Um, a part of this for very long. Oh! We get an elven option! The gods of my people were incredibly powerful. I don't mean they were powerful like a skilled mage. I mean they destroyed entire cities. They shattered mountains. So no, they might not literally be gods, but they're a lot worse than whatever you're thinking. All right, well, we've stopped the ritual and there doesn't seem to be an immediate danger. For now. You're certain Solas can't use blood magic to affect nope. your mind. I'm not certain. Okay, yay! 
but we're not out of danger. What do you mean? Solus had two of the other elven gods imprisoned. When he got trapped, they escaped. So those things we saw come out of the Fade when the ritual went wild? Gods! Those are Elganon and Gilanane, two of the ancient elven gods that Solus rebelled against. Um... Ooh. Okay, so it's interesting too that the more option, I wasn't sure if that was going to be like what they used to do the left hand options were, which was like, you know, get more information. It kind of seems to be it's sometimes its own conversational ender, um, or like a specialty one. I think I am going to. They are. I'm going to say this. Solus warned me about them being evil, which is pretty rich coming from the guy who just tried to tear him the veil. <laughs> you don't believe him? No, that's the problem. Yeah. I do believe him. He said they were horrific tyrants. Tyrants so powerful, elven history remembers them as gods. Solus says Elganon and Gilinane drew on the blight for power and became corrupted. That was when he imprisoned them. So instead of one god running around, we have two. And they're not just powerful, they're blighted. Y yeah. We need to get out there and I stop I mean, guys, just it's like a vicious that. cycle. We're down a man without Varric. We can't just rush in. She's got stitches. I know you're hurt, Nev. But the rest of us need to do something. Oh. I'll be ready to fight when it's time, but we need to investigate, then figure out what we're dealing with. And how many more people will get hurt, get killed, while we spend time an investigating? An argument. No, and I do think we need to take time. I think Harding is definitely in the throes of, like, you know, sort of a, a panic or, like, a, a need to do something because something went terribly wrong and so now she has to try to make things right by, like, justifying the pain that Varric is in or, like, justifying the cost, you know? And also, like, if we just rush in, like, we're just as likely to die. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it doesn't make any sense for us to rush in. We need to, like, we might want to to help more people, but I purposefully didn't pick a character whose background was like, uh, was it, uh, like, I, I'm like, oh, I like bullheaded characters, like bull rushing, you know, there's like running straight in and hitting things, but like, I, I picked a paladin for a reason in, Bal reason in Baldur's Gate, and that's because, like, not only do you get to hit things really hard, you have charisma in order to talk to people and, like, figure things out, you know what I mean? Um, but, yeah, anyway, this was totally distracted. Um, it just doesn't make sense to me to just, like, run in uh, willy-nilly without, like, I think running into the situation without enough prep is what kind of got us in trouble. Not that I think we could have really done anything. What were we going to do against Solus? But, like, yeah, everybody's plans are bad. Solus's plans are bad. The Inquisitor's plans are bad. Varric's plans are bad. <laughs> like, well, nobody has a good plan out here. <laughs> Um, but yeah, as much as we may want to help other people and like stop terrible things from happening right now, like we can't, we can't just rush in. Like we do, like when I, when the time comes, I'll go in and hit things really hard. But until then, I want to figure out what I'm up against. You know what I mean? If Elganon and Gilanane are worse than Solus, we can't go in blind. We need to know what they can do and what we they could want. talk to him. But we only have Solus's word about Not all this. this. Then let's go investigate for ourselves. We find out what we're dealing with, and then we take our shot. Fine. The Alluvian led us here instead of back to Minrathis. Let's hope it goes back to the ritual site. Maybe we can find some clues at the clues. scene of the crime. Nev, are you okay to go? It's a headache. I've worked with worse. All right, then. Let's get back I love to the her casual side. outfit. I don't know. The Alluvian has its own special room. It's just I down the stairs. I did see that actually. Um, I don't know if I've said it already, but I love Neve's outfit. Um, and the stitching on her head, like that, actually looks pretty intense. And she should probably take it. Not a nap. Well, she's probably out of concussion danger now. But you know what I'm saying. Um. Oh my gosh! I'm so excited! I'm so excited! Ooh, I just can't wait! Oh my gosh! We're gonna go do things. <laughs> Oh my goodness. These must be the singing stones? These? That are activating this Illuvian and allowing it to go wherever. Okay. I just keep wanting to think about everything, but I'm like, I should also just play. But I'm like, ooh, I have all these, these theories and things. 
Ooh, it looks so good! For all we know, there's a dozen demons waiting on the other side of that alluvian. I should not bring her out. If it even takes us back, we might to have to Arthur. rotate companions. Nev, you sure you're up for this? Don't worry about me. I mean, if we get injured, shall we? Her magic wand. Let's do is, this. It's not a staff, but it's, it looks like a wand. It looks very cool. So I wonder if when your companions get like potentially really injured, you might have to leave them behind for like a mission or two, right? Ooh, do we get to actually explore all of them for us, or is it just going to be a pretty skybox? I worry. It's quiet. Ah. Well, isn't that this a surprise? This armor looks so good on me. There's the ritual site. But if the gods really did get out, they're not here anymore. I think... Right. Let's take a look around and see if we can find... Oh, it's Veil Jumpers. Yeah, well, you deserve it. <laughs> These guardians were just, you know, they're doing their jobs. Cut it down. I'm trying. It's not working. I can't contain it. Oh, so they took an artifact that controlled it. Man's got no shoes. Strife? Irlin? It's me, Elise Harding. Harding? What are you doing back in Arlathan? It's complicated. I can see that. Rook, Nev, this is Strife and Irlin. Varric and I met them when we first started hunting down Solus. They're veil jumpers, experts in ancient elven magic. Hardly experts. I should have been able to shut that artifact down. I'm sorry, Tarith. It looks rough. It's not your fault. Since the sky ripped open, the magic's been surging. A bunch of artifacts that had been dormant for centuries started coming alive. This is because of Finn Harrell's, sorry, Solus's <laughs> ritual, isn't it? <laughs> You all were supposed to stop. Oh, did him. you know that? Also, he says he does a little bit like he's from the south. Also, Rook, I keep thinking it's like a British voice, but I think it's actually more Welsh than anything else. She's so beautiful. I did such a good job. Uh, <laughs> we did stop him. The sky's not pulling itself apart anymore, is it? <laughs> but it didn't go as cleanly as we hoped. Solus got pulled into the fade, and two somethings got pulled out. Or some ones, I mean. Two of the Evanuris, Elgonan and Gilanane. The Thalinist. Mm. The elven gods of old. The Evanuris. And like these, I mean, these are all. If they truly they have all are Dalish. Then things just got a whole lot worse. Ooh. Oh, great, the gods are real. I don't know why this is the positive. What about the gods? Like that, I don't know. Um, but yeah. Hmm. He had... Junes? I think? One of them had a June. No, not a June. I recognize them. I just can't remember the names of them. I don't know. This is weird. What about the gods? That doesn't make any sense. Um, let's, let's be, let's be a little formal, I guess. So Elganon and Gilanane are loose, which means what? You thought Solus was bad. He's a bit of a bastard, true. But next How do to they them, know him? Let's just say they weren't known for their kindness. There's a reason Solus led a rebellion against the Vaniris, And a reason he imprisoned them. But now they How do these guys know this? Ah! Tarith is in bad shape. We need to get him back to the camp. We've still got dozens of veil jumpers unaccounted for. How can we help? We need to find Bellara mm. Lute. She's the best there is at working with our ancient artifacts. And also at blowing them up. 
She was off looking for another artifact before this ritual shook everything loose. If anyone can get a handle on all this wild magic and the artifact it's setting off, it'll be hard. Sounds like a big fan. Right. You get your friend back to your camp and... <sighs> we'll find Ballara. Yeah, I... Uh... Yeah, if we give her a task, maybe she'll do it. Nev, I need you to stay with Strife and Eolin, all right? I'm fine. You're the best detective in Minrathus. You can help the Veil Jumpers here. If trouble shows up, they could use your I, skills. That doesn't make Fair doesn't enough. make any sense, actually. We'll meet you back at the Veil Jumper camp. It's just south of here. Bellara's out near some elven ruins to the west. At least she was three days ago. I'd start your search there. Good luck, Rook. And thank you. But, hey, you're welcome. She's like too smiley. <laughs> She's like, ha. <laughs> Uh, honestly, not taking need is probably a dumb decision, but she keeps being injured. She keeps going, ah, ugh, ah, and I'm like, ah. <laughs> oh, maybe I should turn the brightness back down. Jeez. Honestly, I would have assumed that... Is it me, or is there something strange about yeah, this Yeah, something's going on. It all feels a little off. Like, everything shifted a little bit. I turn, uh, her voice is prominent in one ear or the other. This reminds me, in a good way, a nug! I just saw a nug. Oh my goodness. Um, this reminds me, in a good way, of the Hinterlands. I always thought when I finally got to play on PC, or I guess Xbox 360 first, but then when I actually got to play on PC. My first walkthrough is, uh, is on the 360, which was not great. Um, like, it was fun, but it was not as pretty, but the, it was so beautiful to see the hinterlands, like the greenery and the foliage and such, like, high-quality graphics. But, I mean, this one's up. These are pretty flat-looking. Similar to Inquisition, but I, they're using the same engine, so I can't really expect them to change things like in a crazy amount is that suit of armor moving yeah i had to i had to figure out yeah i got rid of the armor on purpose oh oh okay there's a skull gotcha. there's a skull in there by the way People. Where'd you come from? Belora? Belora Luter. Strife and Eelan sent us to find you. Who are you, exactly? Call me Rook. Lace Harding. Protocol is to wait a full week before they send anyone out to look for me. I've only been gone three days. Well, the situation's changed. For the worse, unfortunately. Our gods, Elganon and Gilead, Our gods. They've escaped from Fenrir's prison. I like that. And by all accounts, they want to destroy the world. Oh, yes, that is very much for the worse. Okay, wait. I need a second. Um, I did. One of my sister mentioned to me. She was like, she liked that. Like, it's very um. It flows very easily with the hour, as opposed to like you know your gods or the elven gods. It's like it in Inquisition there was a few few glaring issues where you play as a, like an elven inquisitor who is Dalish and is raised with you know all this lore about the gods or you know elven history, and you get to go, what's that? The most egregious one is when you ask about Mythal to Morgon when you're at Mythal's temple, or like near it, um, in the, oh my gosh, in the forest to the south. And it was one that made me want to like throw my controller across the wall, especially because my Inquisitor had Mythal's Valisleen magically tattooed onto her face. 
So the only way I could justify it was if it was like, you know, one of those like facetious questions where it's like, oh, like asking somebody who obviously wants to be like, let me tell you what I know. Like, oh, so who is Mithral? And then like as Morgan goes, blah, 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 she just kind of rolls her eyes and looks over at Solus and is like, mm, and he's like, uh, you know, and we're both elves being like, you know, this human, you know what I mean? Um, anyway, I, mm, she's already acting a little bit like I was worried she would, where it's like, I'm a quirky little, little girl, you know, like, wow, people, I was like, ugh, <laughs> no, it's fine, we'll get to know her. I've had a couple of days and I'm still trying to work me out. Me ain't it. around it. <laughs> does sort of explain a few things, though. Like what? The surge of raw magic in the area. These artifacts started waking up a while ago, but in fits and starts. One here, a couple there. Then, a couple of days ago, the sky split Yeah, we were away. there. And now, raw magic. Thick as fog. Only a god, or gods, could have done that. There's something kind of exciting about it. And dangerous. Really I like dangerous. her, Valisley. Dangerous enough that I was gonna head back to the Veil Jumper camp, but... But what? See that shimmer? That's a Veil Bubble. It's separating us from the rest of the real world, so to speak. You can only pass through it one way. Once you're in, you can't get out. I mean, could we just, could we just go, go the way we came? Like, you know what I mean? I think I prefer to stay in one piece, yeah. Right, me too. But I think I can find a way out. A bubble like that? There has to be something at the center that's generating it. Something powerful. If we can find it and remove it safely, I mean, the bubble itself should That collapse. sounds bad. And then we're back in reality? I really, really yeah, hope see, so. Yeah. Well then, let's get going. CZZ, where it's like, why would I want to take the thing that is generating a false reality around me and like pull it, remove it, and have it collapse around me while I'm inside it? That seems like a bad idea. But here we go. Off we go. Ooh, oh my gosh, we could. I've been trying to get to the artifact at the center of the bubble, but these magical constructs keep getting in the oh, way. Oh, how. We've handled our share of demons. A few dozen Ooh. more shouldn't be a problem. Spirits, not demons. They're animating those suits of armor. The armor's attuned to the artifact to protect it from threats. Threats like us, I'm guessing. That nug just dissipated. We're not in the fade anymore, so why did the nug just dissipate? I... Oh my gosh, it's the wow. ravens! Or was it crows? They only kept ravens or crows, I can't remember. And use them as messenger birds. Arlathan Forest. I mean, I'm like, dang, this would be a really cool picture if uh, these guys weren't in it. We look so good. Sorry, I'm taking like several photos, but there is a hide party um, part in the photo mode. So that's really handy. Hardwood. Okay, never mind. That's not the one that I'm thinking. Is it? it no, silver wood. Some there's some kind of special wood in Origins. Trying to keep an eye out for rock art. Just like real life, you can take the archaeologist out of the field, but you can't take the field out of the archaeologist. I mean, yeah, I need to go up there, but I'm worried that I don't get to explore as much as I would like to. That's the edge of the bubble. Okay. Can't pass through okay. it. Okay. We need to shut down the artifact first. Okay. Oh, well, it looks like there's... I mean, I thought it was going to be inside, but it looks like it is not inside. It looks like it is in the water over there. They've really done an excellent job with the ruins, like... I always liked them. I thought they were a little austere in the previous game, and they still are, but I think there's a little bit more of like the filigree and stuff that you would think 
you would see in such grand, or like a grand old empire ruin, you know? One that could like travel with magic, you know? These are fireflies! Yes, hello? Angry? Is that water just swirling into the Angry air? spirit? We call that kind the whirlpool. The anomaly, I mean. Never seen one this size, though. Oh, Solus, what have we done? I can't say what have you done, because he didn't do this. We were the ones that interrupted his ritual. And he had plans in place in order to deal with the Evanuris and in order to keep damage mitigated. There's no, like, search mechanic in this one like there was in the last one, as far as I know. The nug is like turning into dirt. I find that very weird. Like, just let the nug run away. It is, seems like the game is doing what they threatened, where it's pretty linear. But I know they did that in order to craft a better, uh... Demon! Right where we need to go! Then let's deal with them quick. Oh! Ho oh. ho! I did read about an ability that uh, like increases the like or like does something extra when you do a jump attack. So I thought I might practice. But um, Ooh. making the rest of those look bad. Listen, I'm just trying my best. Oh, I can do shield volley. I do the right tree and then why? Okay. So I want necrotic stuff, but this, I like this, the idea of the titan stomp. I like the idea of being able to send a projectile back to the recipient. Sure. Look at that and work our way towards titan stomp. So what is this artifact we're looking for exactly? I have a couple of theories, but nothing definite. We might find some clues in the ruins, though. Yeah, her voice is a little, like... I don't know, and I, I, I am already disinclined to like her because I because of that Suicide Squad trailer where it was, she was like, Whoa! and that like, comes out of the fade and then gets dragged back in, and I was like, nope, if they've turned her into a quirky, manic, pixie dream girl type, I'm not going to like her. She already kind of looks like the type, you know, and they tend to make these sciencey, like, you know, pushing the Bounders Explorer ones to be like, wow, like, kind of like PB. People were saying similar to PB from Andromeda, and I was like, ooh. Okay, <laughs> you know, like, yeah, I could see that, and I don't like the comparison either, it just justifies, you know, the view is fine, but, um, not the most memorable or, uh, enduring of companions. Oh, boy. But yeah, did I already say, like, I would think if Elgaron and Gilnan got out and they recognized this area as a dread wolf sanctuary... Or not, I mean, not a sanctuary necessarily, but like a dread wolf area. Maybe it wasn't, this is not specifically a dread wolf area. This was something else. That's right. Okay. Because I'm like, if they, if they knew it was like specifically a dread wolf thing, I think they would have tried to tor tear it apart, you know? I'm so excited to see them, though, especially Galen on. She's going to be so creepy. I just know it. So it is. Wait, is this. Why is there mo. Like, to be fair, there's a lot of bald elves, you know? I don't. I mean, I'm just assuming. That these are all the soulless, but there's a bunch of there's a bunch of wolves in here. Why do we kick everything? I do like I the like. Usually see elven ruins that haven't been picked over. <gasps> Not many people come this. Way. Oh. Okay. Jumpers, deft leathers. Okay, okay, okay. So I do get to find armor in the wilds. Cool far into Arlathan. Just veil jumpers, mostly. And people trying to save the world, apparently. Yeah, I mean, people... It's very... It's supposed to be very difficult to get into Arlathan. Forest. What was this place? Could have been a temple, could have been where they stored food. But judging by the sentinels, it's probably something important. I was gonna say, that was... Those were... 
Yeah. And she's but she's she's making a good point, you know, where it's like we have no idea. It could it be anything. It almost feels like an armory. Or something like Why that. would you say that? What's an armory doing this far what, out? What indicates that? Warlords. Ancient elves had a lot of them. Warlords? <laughs> I'm trying to jump. I keep pressing Y to jump. Well, you gotta explain yourself. Warlords? Are you talking like the Evanur is? Wow. I've never seen anything like this. Wait. Is this? No. It can't be. Not here. Can't be what? We have to get over there. The artifact we're looking for must be inside. It's the Avatar. The Avatar's over there. Water and Earth are, cir are circling. There's supposed to be, you know, obviously fire and air, but you know, we, we, we get, we win some, we lose some. It's a baby avatar. I I don't know why why are the nugs disappearing? Truffle. Oh, is that what it is? Maybe is that wherever the wherever they've been? There's um. Haha! I knew it. Um. There's like a truffle maybe because they're like little piglets, little digging, little digging around. This is so stunning. I wonder if some of the Tevinta ruins we have attributed to them are pro are just like repurposed elven ruins. Like I was thinking of the aqueduct and the empries. I heard you. Oh, is that what they're doing? They're digging underground. That's why they're turning into dirt. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense now. They're not just disappearing. They're digging a hole. Okay, that makes sense. Are we just supposed to jump across? Oh, no, we can make a bridge. There should be a power crystal somewhere oh, in the back. Got it. Bring it yeah. over here. Oh, look at that. It just follows me around. Um, power crystals that can be transported between... I was going to say, they didn't, they didn't hide it at all, but I, like, you're not really trying to hide a bridge, you know? I'm just, I'm, look at this following me, I'm just, it's so smooth. I want to keep it forever. It's just very smoothly following me. And there we go. Easy. And I, huh, that's a great I trick. somehow knew that that was what I needed to do, was to grab a that. resonance amplifier. It's drawing magic from the ring temple to this area. I need to shut it down before oh, we can this. go up the path. <laughs> But doing that will attract anything nasty that's hanging around. Her armor set is cool. And the little pack is very cute. This is very cool. I really, they did, I think they really pushed the visualization for like visualization, like the design elements for the ancient elven stuff. Ooh, it's similar. Oh, this is so neat. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I, this is, this is Dragon Age Valgard, right? Like, it's probably, it's not exactly what I wanted to be, and I'm only, I can only say that because of the, like, for, at this point, because I, I haven't even played that much, but because the world state situation means that the game is probably not going to do some of the things I wanted it to do, even just in, like, a small part, um, but I am playing Dragon Age 4 nearly <laughs> 10 years. My life has changed so much, and I'm going to stop and take photos any chance I get, <laughs> you know what I mean? Just this is amazing. This is really stunning. Yeah, I'm just it's amazing. Oh, let me do it. What do you want me to do? Oh, a tinker thing. Oh, I thought I just had to click on it to like activate her on it, but. Oh boy. An indicator will flash around my head? Oh, I see. Yeah, I've been seeing that. The gold one. Is it? Yes, okay. Let's go! Yes, okay. Oh, I am pressing the wrong buttons. They're aiming for us! There we go! 
trying to practice the volley. Oh, hey! I do get to pick up something from the enemies. This is beautiful! This is so gorgeous! I'm excited to do, I think, probably in the Mornwatch area when we go to Navarra. Um, the one of the, the most recent show that I saw that was from like a week ago or something um, had the uh, this like crazy looking skeleton like enemy and I was like oh my gosh like I that one looked really interesting to fight potentially if it was if it was a fight it, I think it looked like one but if nothing else the just the the concept of it looked really cool Breaking priceless jade jars is not my idea of a good time. But here we are. The, the, I can't, it feels like, I feel like I'm gonna cry, like, it has been so long. I mean, I've played Inquisition off and on, but like, I mean, I played it, I've played it for over a thousand hours, but like, you know, it's one of those things where it's been a long time and it's just like, oh my gosh, like I see this statue and I'm like, it just takes me back and I'm like, I'm gonna get, get teary-eyed. <laughs> God, I don't know, it's just, I do, I gotta get one of these as a replica. I've seen them on Etsy and I've been eyeing them for a long time, but I just need to, I just need to get one apparently if <laughs> it's gonna make me cry like that. I actually really like the, um, is this where I just came from? Um... This is probably where we go afterwards. Ah, because uh, there's something to get over there. Um, I don't remember what I was saying. Cool beans. I would like to drop down here. This. Oh, okay. A chest. It marks those for me. Uh, can I just like mark something like in like in Zelda? Mm -hmm. Oh, I missed it, it looks like. Maybe I should just... Oh, whoa. So, that ritual, the big one where the sky was ripping apart, you say that was Fen Harrell? I mean, the real Fen Harrell? One and only. That's what I've been told. So right now, he goes by Solus. And, sorry, the things that got out, the big scary ones, that was Gilnane and Elgernon? Are you okay? You sound a little flustered. It's her gods. Oh, you know, just finding out that three of my gods are out there trying to end the world. Why wouldn't I be okay? <laughs> I mean, she brings up she brings up a good point. You know, <laughs> it is it is a lot to take in. But the thing is, is apparently some of these elves knew about Solus Fenrir now, and like, I mean, it's been ten years. Like, it wouldn't surprise me for them to know or to like pick up hints or something. You know what I mean? Um, or for that that knowledge to be disseminated by former Inquisition people. But like, then why doesn't she know that they're kind of a thing? But I guess it's one thing to hear about it, and then another thing to like, sort of like. Not see it. She hasn't quite seen it yet. But like we're like, no, they're they're actually walking around, and she's like, oh oh oh, so they're real, but they're not like the stories said, you know. Maybe they are, but they're not quite like what we thought. You know what I mean? Hi, can we chat? No, no chatting. Damn, I keep pressing the wrong one. Another sentinel construct. Nope. We'll have to take it down keep expecting their bodies to have something. Also, like, that one, the smaller concert, like, the, like assassin type one that she had, um, also these are dressed in the armor of, are these the constructs that they were talking about? That Solus put so much of himself in, but again, this is like a general elven, ancient elven area, I think. But like, this looks just like the ancient elven armor from Inquisition. From Trespasser that we see Solus walk up in and you're like, holy cow, a man's got thighs, like, you know what I mean? But, um, Abelas, Saro, he has it too. Like, he has that armor and then the ancient elves that you can fight sometimes in the city or in the, as you're in the forest, um, they also wear that. Oh, we got some mosaics! Okay, so this is a dreadwolfy type place. I said, 
Never want to say that. Like, ish type place, Dr. Wolf ish type place. Like, that's probably two renditions of Solus plus a wolf, I think. There's a lot of Solus statues. Seeing these kinds of ruins never gets old. <laughs> Let me just Can break it. anything here tell us what that artifact is? I have a theory, but we're miles away from where that artifact should be. Yeah, well, then share with the class, you know what I'm saying? Can I break walls? Gosh, dang it. Oh, hello. This is giving me flashbacks to the, um... Uh, Solosan Temple. In the Forbidden Oasis. Let me... Do I need to... Nope. Oh, her bow is sick. Um, she's got, look at that bow! She's got like a super futuristic, oh, she's got like a tesseract thing, I don't know, like a, I don't know. She can pull things into her arm, which she did earlier with that assassin guy. That assassin, when he had a skull, like in, I swear it was like a skull within, like the, there was like a face mask type thing, but there was the back of a skull. Um, so some of them have bones in them. What do you want me to do? Oh, you want me to pick up this one. Oh, and that would... I see, I see. Close that door. This seems like a very inefficient method of having... Doors in a, in a building. Unless it's a ritualistic building, which probably a lot of them were. I wish I could see her do the grab. Wait, do... Is it a war axe, like a one-handed? It's a great axe, okay. Ooh, baby. It's nice that we get both, like, easily. Ah! Listen, I'm gonna attempt peace. Hold on, I'm just looking for your skulls. Says the archaeologist. They're going to beat me up when I try to get through the door. Hi. I think I know what the artifact is. Perfect. I really like hitting them. Haha, <laughs> I find that coming too! I really like hitting them with my sh shield. Good work, everyone. Oh, look at this. What is this? What? Was that. What was that? <laughs> why did that. Why was there an orb? This is so beautiful. So, what kind of artifact shows up in an armory? A weapon? An archive spirit. A what? A creature of the fate, bound to a crystal. Our ancestors used them to store knowledge and to help them dream. Yes. I have encountered them in Trespasser, but... Look at these! What are these? Like the memory of butterflies? I think that's what they are. I think this is like a dream of butterflies. I'm thinking maybe the, like, bug stuff is kind of indic- like, the fireflies and stuff are, like, indicating where there is something to pick up. I don't know if it's 100% of the time, but... Kind of? Like, I mean, these guys are here, and I don't think there's anything here. Maybe just the butterflies. It is so- I, can I just say, it, it's also wild that I'm not just like- not like Inquisition where you're just like free- free willy jumping like wee wee trying to do things and like walking- trying to do the shards was a nightmare. Oh my gosh, I still remember the like solid torture I put myself through trying to get all those. Cause I'd have like three hours where I'd try to like get as many shards as possible and oh it was a nightmare. I would listen to like zen music. Um, 
But like, yeah, you did like it was like the weird, it did like platform without ever the zero like platforming capability, right? All you could do is jump, and the devs were like, "Off you go!" And I was like, "I'm dying." Um, but to be able to jump in a Dragon Age game and grab something, like, grab a ledge, it's like I'm just like, wow. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's the little things, right? Like. <laughs> Sorry. What are you and what are you eating? They're eating a holla! Is that a dark spot? Is that a ghoul? Mythalinast. It spot. is dark spot, but it's the weirdest looking dark spot I've ever seen. And they're eating a holla! It's just that's terrible. Uh how do I Oh, so my jump attack even normally does a uh, sort of an AOE. Here, I never would have believed it until today. Okay, because yeah, I think spooky. Um, their bodies are just turning into leaves. I mean, you could just leave the bodies there. Why do you do that? No. My first holla I'm seeing in the game, and it's a dead one being munched on. <sighs> it's so upsetting. I do think people are, are gonna make fun of me, <laughs> though, from what I was streaming, and I accidentally killed a holla. It was all a thing, but now it's turned into a whole series of jokes where it's like squirrel just hates holla and wants to kill him, and I was like, no, I was acting. Oh my gosh, did you see the way she tippy toed at the edge though? She was like, whoa, whoa, and I was like, whoa, and I like pulled her back. And, oh my gosh, that was, that was good. But the interactivity with the environment has definitely been increased. That's the way I'm supposed to go, so I will obviously not go there. Another one of those resonance amplifiers. Get ready. Once I shut it down, the path ahead will remain blocked until the magic dissipates. We've got your back. They've really outdone themselves, I think. Like I said, with the, with the like redesigning of Oh, right. So I wonder if there's like different ones where like, it, it's like situational, right? Like for each different companion though? Can you take care of that, Laura? That's really cool if there is, right? If each person has like their own specific like, sort of like exploration ability. Apparently we're supposed to be able to do that actually with the dagger. I mean, I'm trying to. Maybe I, I keep. I think I keep pressing Y too soon. When I'm trying to. Whoopsie. I think I'm pressing Y too soon when I throw the shield. I've never seen Dark Spawn this deep into Arlington Forest before. As far as I know, it's never happened. Yeah, well, I have a the spoiler. The gods are blighted, like Solus claims. Mm. Maybe they're communicating with the Darkspawn somehow. Directing mm. them? You saw those Darkspawn, though? Something was different about them. I'm glad them. we're pointing that out. And we'll stop them. Once we get out of this bubble. Once we right. get out of this bubble. Let's get to that central temple. I don't know how many, if anything, will have, uh... Like, any of the barrels will have stuff in it, so I gotta check all of them. Oh dang, we have been, I've been recording for a while anyway. This is interesting, I'm I'm really liking the combat. I think I just need to like get, I need to like get the mem muscle memory down because I keep pr kind of pressing the wrong, like the bumper and triggers in particular, I'm having some troubles with. Um, but this is fun and we're bringing, like we're noticing things, it's not just like I'm not, I'm not sitting here screaming going, oh my gosh, you didn't mention this, ah. Like there's been a few times now where I'm like, bah, and then Rook is like, bah, and I'm like, thank you, so. Um, this is going well. And there's always, there's not always, but sometimes there's gonna be like characters that I don't like, and that's fine. If Balara's a character that I don't like, that's great. Somebody else can like her, you know? 
in Vivian, I think, was a hotly contested character in Inquisition. Um, but she, I respected Vivian, and I liked her as a character. I did not agree with her, but I highly respected Vivian, and she also has one of those ones, one of those lines in a video game that, like, sticks with me forever, at least the gist of it does, where it's like, you know, it's like, what do you, like, you can ask her, like, why do you want to join us? Like, what do you get out of this? And she's like, the, the chance to determine my fate you know, on the battlefield. She's like, I will not sit idly by and wait for things to happen to me. You know, she's like, she wants to take the chance to go out into the battlefield herself and, and take fate into her own hands, her own fate into her own hands, right? And I'm butchering it, but the way she said it just really resonated with me. So I have always, even if I never really agreed with her on anything else, um, I always respected her and I'm like knowing her story, you know, how she got to where she is, like, um, I just always thought she was a pretty nuanced character, like or someone who's very easy to have discussions around, like why it's like, yes, she might want to have power and she will, she might be content with the system the way it is, but she benefits in the current system, right? And it's like, you know, the, the guy that I always think of is the mage who wants to be a farmer that you meet in Redcliffe if you go there um, to talk with Dorian or to talk, you know, to talk with um, Fiona. Um, like just at least chat with her even before you like choose to start with the mages or the Templars. Um, yeah, I always think of that farmer guy. He's the one who gets caught and, like, turns into Red Lyrium a little bit. If you do the Dorian, if you go with Dorian and you find him in the Fade in the Future, or in... If you go in to the future, you see him, the the farmer mage guy, um, in the prison that's turning into Red Lyrium. Um, but yeah, guys like him, like, he just wants to, like, grow plants and, like, be a farmer, you know? And Vivian does not have a concept, like, a world concept, like a paradigm where that's even an option, you know, she loves the struggle, she loves being on the top, like, you know, and it's like she, yes, she's had to work incredibly hard to get to where she's at, but, like, not everybody should have to work that hard to just to have power to go, because she's like, I can go wherever I please, it's like, I don't worry, you know, she's like, I'm not, I'm never restricted to a tower, I'm like, then you were never in Kirkwall, you know, where, like, terrible things were happening to women, like, the canonically, you know, and, like, like, people were being turned into, we called, blah, 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 tranquil, for no reason, and being treated terribly, you know what I mean, like, and not allowed to leave, like, it's a totally different, anyway, that's totally a tangent, but, like, that's the thing, right, it's like, you can understand where Vivian's at, and, and why she thinks the way she does, but also, like, you don't see the plight of the every mage, you know what I mean, so, anyway, fascinating characters, I'm really excited. The world is beautiful. It's a little linear. It's a little linear. I wish it was a little more open, but I'm I'm honestly not too upset as long as the narrative is well crafted, right? A more linear game does allow for a better crafted narrative, and I've kind of been leaning towards those as I get older. Um, and even like Bioware, Dragon Age has never been like totally open world. Like Origins was hub based. Freaking two was just in a city that you could go to the outskirts of every now and then, you know. And uh, Inquisition was the most open world one, um, and it was a bit much. Like, it was just full of pointless side quests, and, I mean, not all of them were pointless. Like, it was all kind of a part of, like, just, like, seeing the world, you know? But, uh, and, like, like, seeing more of Thetis, which I never complain about, but, like, yeah, it's, a uh, it was a little, sometimes a little empty, you know, of meaningful, uh, missions. Fetch quests are just... Let's just leave those to the MMOs, you know? <laughs> but, yeah, anyway, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. I'm going to cut now to my Patreon outro. Thank you all for watching. Really quick, I wanted to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including the free members. There are a few of you out there, but I also want to say thank you to my Acorn tier patron, Fane. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it. I want to give an extra special shout out to my sapling tier patrons, Reese Galito and Sebastian James. Thank you so much for your support, you guys. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me and the channel and who I truly cannot thank enough. So thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.